What's going on guys? You're in with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to some more story time with grinding in the background. It is 1 a.m. I have to wake up in four hours, so I don't see any better time than to do this video than right now. So by popular request in the comments of the last one, I will be telling you guys the story of my first kiss, followed by two quick stories submitted by you guys, the subscribers. So Remember, if you still want to submit some of your awkward, weird, funny, or stupid stories, feel free to PM me on YouTube, and I might use them. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get to my story of my very first kiss. So, a while back, uh, true, I don't mean to make myself sound pathetic and lame and horrible here, but I didn't have my first kiss till I was 18. By the way, I'm 18. Hi. <laughs> so, earlier this year, I went to go visit my very first girlfriend at the time, who was Chapel Lamb. You guys might have met her in some videos, just saying. <laughs> and we had like, when we first met, like way back in January, like the, I think the day after we met, she found out I had never kissed anyone before. She's like, oh, well, when we meet, I'll give you a nice kiss. So I'm like, yay. And when uh, I finally got a chance to meet her, I was like really scared to do it. So we were sitting there. The night that I went to go visit her playing Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, for about the six hours straight. And all of a sudden, the power went out. And so, luckily, I was, like, really tired of playing Legend of Zelda, but I didn't want to tell her that because it was her favorite game. But so I was just, I'll oh, make her happy. Anyways, the power went out, which was actually pretty much like a blessing in disguise. And so what she did was, since we couldn't do anything, she just kind of lit some candles, and we just... You have sat there on the couch talking, and I'm like, well, geez, candle lit, middle of the night, this is, like, kind of romantic. This would be, like, the perfect time to go for my first kiss. So, I'm, like, sitting there trying to hype up myself to do it, and it's not working. I'm like, so I thought I'd take the gentleman approach. I said, would you mind if I kissed you? So, she just kind of looked at me, and she's like, I think she was just expecting me to do it. So, I just kind of sat there in absolute fear, too afraid to do it. And for about 30 minutes, we just kind of sat there with, like, in somewhat awkward silence with just, like, small little conversation. Overall, just kind of waiting for me to finally make the move. <laughs> and I told myself, by midnight, I would do it. And about 11.55, I looked at the clock and I realized I hadn't done it yet. I was still sitting there absolutely petrified, too afraid to kiss her. And... I was just getting ready to do it, I was hyping myself up in my head, like getting ready, and the power comes back on. It's like, what? Really? Really? Of all the times, that exact moment the power had chosen to come back on. So she got up, completely ruined the moment, went and blew out all the candles, and like turn, turned off the TV because it came back on and everything. And when she finally came back to the couch, I finally just decided, okay, I'm going to do it. So I leaned in to kiss her and I missed. <laughs> That's right. The very first time I ever tried to kiss somebody and I miss. I end up kissing her nose. Then I pull back. I look at her face and I say, why am I not surprised? <laughs> why am I not surprised? The very first time I mess it up. I then try again and I do successfully kiss her. So that is the story of how the electricity and the, pretty much electricity tried to cock block me, which was really nice. It set me up with the perfect opportunity and then yanked it away at the last second, ruining a somewhat perfect moment. So, yeah, never trust power. If the lights go out and you're trying to kiss a girl or a guy, don't go for it because A will screw you over. Okay, now let's get... That sounded a lot funnier in my head. And I... I think we all know I'm just not good at story telling stories. So, really quickly before we move on to the subscriber stories, I want to point out, I did not realize that last story was Star Wars. In the last video, the last story, apparently it was, like, afterwards, like, realizing it, it's like, oh, it was Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, a little n unnerdy fact, I'll probably lose some of my nerd privileges. I've only seen Star Wars one time. I've only seen the prequel, or the... I've only seen four through six one time each, and I've never actually watched one through three. I watched like the first 30 minutes of number one, and I'm like, well, this is boring. So, I'm not a big Star Wars guy, so it didn't really click in my head that that was Star Wars. Uh, for the record, I don't remember Leia making a um, sex tape, so, yeah. Anyways, on to some subscriber stories. 
Hi, Hardy. I work at a daycare like his place, so I end up with all kinds of funny stories about the kids. I only have one good one that I can think of right now, but if you like, I could send you them sometime. Yeah, yeah, feel free to send me some awesome, hilarious, funny stories, guys. Remember that. So this happened about a month ago. It was towards the end of the child watch, and we only had one kid left. I didn't really know this kid, and I'm not sure if he's come back since. So he was just standing there by the door waiting for his dad to pick him up when we noticed he had been pulling out his hair. My coworker asked him why he was pulling out his hair, and his response was, well, special. Apparently, he was pulling out his hair so it would fall down to his feet, which would merge together to form a snake body. Then his arms would turn into tentacles so his head could split off into monster heads. This way, he could eat his little sister and his parents so he could have their, suddenly whispering, macaroni and cheese. That kid has a plan. I respect that. Okay, so our second story is a little less freaky and a little more sexual because you got to have some of that in Pokemon. I was upstairs in my room and I can admit I was having a little bit of joy time with myself. And I had RedTube up, on, and on the other tab, I had Facebook and Cerebi.net, a Pokemon site. I wonder which one he was looking at. Hmm. I'm guessing the Pokemon one. Well, I was home alone, and I had the volume up a little bit, and then out of nowhere, my mom walks in, and I jump up quickly, switch tabs, and tried to cover myself the best I could. She'd got off work early and wanted to check up on my cousin on Facebook. She didn't notice the tab labeled Bruno's Big Cock. Oh, so it was the Pokemon one. I was right. <laughs> and I was sweating buckets and stuttering for five minutes as she was in here. Then just as she was about to leave, all she heard from the other tab was, Ah. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So it, it's so big. I forgot that part. I had to add that part afterwards. <laughs> and my face went blank. And I tried to explain it was an awkward pop-up ad from the Pokemon Really? I tried to explain it was an awkward pop-up ad from the Pokemon site, but she didn't buy it at all. So I got my computer taken away for two months. Being punished for enjoying Pokemon? That is wrong. Anyways, that's going to do it for our grinding stories today. Next time, more stories, I guess. I don't think I have any more stories. Am I Actually, I might have one story to tell, but every time I think I have a story, it turns out not to be very funny. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye.